Let's go eat there. Okay. Hi, Sam. Okay. Yes, we're joining. Can you hear the game just fine? Ah. Uh, cool. Hi, Dylan. Hi, Dylan. Well, someone. A vibrant me. planet blessed by the light of the crystal. Ugh. It Azure seas, encompassing the westernmost oh, of the three the great continents. There lies a realm embraced by gods and forged by heroes. Her name, Aeorzea. The annals of Aeorzean history chart the rise of a succession of great civilizations, each one enjoying an age of peace, I the see a astral era. Ah, I see shelters and little lollies. To date, Yo, you wanna be a lolly in this game? have proven ephemeral. Are you seriously gonna think about being a lolly or show that? In the year 1570, oh most recent astral era, really? <laughs> the Northern Empire of Gollumol amassed a great army at the heart of Eorzea, seeking dominion over all. What is even happening? Rising in desperate Where resistance, are... the forces of the Eorzean Alliance met their would-be comrades in the field. Yet, even as the battle raged, the lesser moon was I skipped it. I must first create a character. <gasps> this is what I wanted. This is what I wanted, Sam. I'll do what I want. <laughs> okay. Okay. Actually, hold on a second. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and make this public, so everyone can watch me. Oh, so want me to be a hearer? The hearer are said to have first trapped Erzia from her surrounding her. Okay. What? Oh, oh, I see. Attire, small clothes. Ah! Oh gosh. What if I'm a female? Okay, let's see. Let's see the female. Standing. Meek. Huh. Oh my gosh. Yes. I'm pretty. Let's see small clothes. Ah! Okay. Wait, if I were...
pre-order costume that I got. Like those who pre-order get to have a Mikote lightning costume. <laughs> Rogue Oh, if you want to be buff. The giants. <sighs> the brawny build and piercing eyes. The Rogate are the largest and most rugged pairs of races. The majority of the realm's Rogue Seekers of the sun are the diurnal clan of the Okay. Farm light of day provides all aspects of the culture and is apparent in their devout reverence for Izayama, the morning keeper of the sun. There, blah, 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 blah. There are secret charms thrown throughout. Hmm. There's a, what's the difference between this and this? Oh, oh my pie! I get more pie in, if I'm a knight. If I'm a keeper of the moon. Hey Sam, which one would you be? A seeker of the sun or a keeper of the moon? Well, they prefer the warm light of the day. And I guess they're most active in the moon as well. They're perhaps known best for their striking eyes, the result of their vertically aligned pupils and faintly covered irises. They are distinguishable from their diurnal cousins by their darker fur, larger ears, rounder eyes, more pronounced canines, and longer skinnier tails. Really? Like your tanner, if you're a keeper of the moon. See? It is also. I think I want to be a seeker of the sun too. Okay. Seeker tribes can be found throughout Arizona with large concentrations appearing near the Zalamitsa and the Sigoli Desert. Well, the keepers of the moon.
Does this match my, like, my hair color? He kept moving! What? Okay. I don't see a difference. Oh, it's just the tip of the tail. Oh my gosh, I can make it longer or short. <gasps> Maybe I'll make it super long. I'll look like a monkey though. I think I'll put mine's here. Like a little bit shorter than others. Yo. 42. Here you go. Do I want to change my skin color? No, I don't want to. Should I? Ah, how do I move up? Sam, how do you do the controls? I can't move up! I, I, I'm stuck in his crotch! Okay, okay. Oh, oh, well, whatever. Nailing, hairstyle. Ah, I did it. Hairstyle. <gasps> Look at all these cool hairstyles. Ah, okay. Who should I be?
my shape. Oh, I like this one. This one. Which one do you want? Which one do you like, Sam? Type 3 or type 6? Type 1, type 2, type 3, type 4, type 5, type 6. I like 3 and 6. Iris size? <gasps> Yo, you want me to be have big enemy eyes? Yo, want me to get a disease and get pink eyes? <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, you can you can have heterochromia. You know, like you know, like it's actually pretty common for cats to have um, for colored eyes. Well, I know um, in Fire Emblem games, um, black and yellow. <laughs> oh, actually, I know in uh, Fire Emblem games, Ike's game. Numbers nine and ten, the Telia series. Um, the main character, one, well, one of the main characters is a cat named Ronald, and he has heterochromia. Like one is green, one is like bluish, purple. Like not really green, like sea green. And he was actually pretty cool. Um, let's see. I think um, Ike's game, the Telia series, nine and ten. Um, I think that's the only game where the art is drawn by a female. Yeah. I thought that was pretty cool. Well, I mean, then they changed it back to male. Like, they, the, like the one we're doing now. Apparently everyone likes the current artist, uh, Kozaki Yusuke. So I guess they're gonna... Yeah, he also did Awakening and Fates. That's why the art styles look so similar. Huh? Yeah, me too. So yeah, I think um, Awakening and Fates, it's the first time where they kept an artist for different fan for different um for a different Fire Emblem game. Yeah. Except if it's like a sequel, like Ike's game. Because you know, same characters, so same artist. But yeah, um, it's the first time where to see an entirely new thing that he can do. But you know, to be honest, Samantha, I never played <laughs> I never played a Metal Gear Solid or a Silent Hills game.
Yo, lip color. Lip color. Yo. Dog ears? Those are dog ears. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, haven't you seen it? Dogs are just for cats. That's what Teddy said. this. I'll be pretty. <gasps> Life will say edge. I live to the fullest. Oh my gosh! Don't I look cute? Black. No, oh, gray. Do you think the green one looks nice? 
because it looks like I'm kind of um, um, camouflaging myself. Or should I go darker? This one? This one. No, actually, I don't like it. Why am I so into this? Oh, I can? Maybe I should go back to it. I don't want to go back to it. Why am I into this? <gasps> cat ears! I can have cat whiskers. Yes! Nice. Hello? Hi, Rebecca! Look, I'm pretty. I'm a furry. Are you proud? I'm proud. Look, I'm also naked. Okay, this is. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. This is great. Oh, yeah. Make your own furry game. Haha! <laughs> My birthday is the, the third son of the first astral moon. That's mm -hmm. my name. Wait, what? Oh my gosh, I have to select my deity, my patron deity. Sam, this is so cool! My deity is Hello, mover of glaciers and goddess of war. He's a guardian deity of Like, it's my, my horoscope. Yeah, so like Capricorn, Sagittarius, whatever. There's one for here too. Yeah. Oh, this is cool. Atlas is the surveyor of change in space and god of time. He commands the element of Earth and is associated with 12 moon planetary capital. Okay, so that's the Lufika, tender of soils and harvest, and goddess of abundance. Nalfal, the overseer of the underworld. As a guardian deity of Luka, he commands the element of fire. I think I'll go with the first one. She 
She commands the element of ice and is associated with the first moon of the Erosian calendar. I mean, my birthday is in January, right? I mean, it, but it doesn't mean that I have to follow that. I can choose something else. But I think I'm gonna go with Hello. Mm hmm. Oh my gosh, I can even select my class. I can select. I can select my class. Your last name. 